What's up everybody? It's your boy Clayton Filippo and today we're going to be talking about something that's a little uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> God, this is weird. Choking the chicken, you know, uh, for the females, flicking the bean. Uh, essentially masturbating at boot camp. And it's not more of a question of can you masturbate at boot camp, it's should you masturbate at boot camp. And the reason why I say that is because you can get away with a lot of stuff in this world. But should you? For example, there was a kid in my platoon that uh, got caught jerking off in the, in the bathroom, in the head. It was like 3 a.m. He thought nobody would, would be up, nobody would be looking. And the drill instructor caught him inside the bathroom doing the dirty deed. And he almost got kicked out of boot camp. I mean, he had to go report um, to the company first sergeant. It got routed up through the, through the chain of command. I mean, it was a big deal, and he almost got kicked out. And I know stories of other people actually having been kicked out uh, for getting caught repeatedly, for being a repeat offender. So, in my opinion, I don't think you should, if you have the opportunity to, I don't think you should even try uh, to do that at boot camp. But here's the other thing. I want to address a few other concerns. Uh, so yes, there could be disciplinary action if you get caught, but the ordinary person, like the normal dude at boot camp, that thought won't even come into your head, you know? That thought will not enter your brain because there's so much stress and so much pressure at boot camp that that's the last thing that you're thinking about. I mean, yes, it'll probably come across your mind every once in a while, but the stress of it alone, like that dude, he's good. Like, you're fine. Like, you can go the three months. I know it seems like a long time, but you can do it. Um, the other thing is a lot of people say, yeah, but what about the peanut butter shot? You know, that shot they put right in your ass cheek. Uh, you know, that's, that's so that it's like a testosterone lower, you know, so that you don't have a boner at boot camp. That's false. That's a myth. They also don't put anything in your food to lower your testosterone. That's all a big myth. Um, yeah, the biggest thing is just, <laughs> you know, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth getting caught, you know? Um, there's no stalls in the bathroom, so there's no privacy anywhere you go. Uh, yes, it'll be funny, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying you won't get a morning wood or something like that. You will. It'll happen, and it'll be hysterical, because you can't hide that when you're wearing silkies, bro. There is no hiding a morning wood when you're standing at attention online, and the drone truck is walking by. It is embarrassing. Uh, you'll see it happen to your friends. It'll probably happen to you once or twice, but as far as, um, you know... The deed goes, uh, just don't do it. You know, it's not worth it. So anyway, a weird talk to have. I've been getting a lot of questions on my live stream, a lot of questions on my YouTube channel videos. So, you know, I, I figured let's just tackle this head on. Oh, that sounds bad. Let's tackle this problem. <laughs> not not by the head, but you know, what I, you know what I mean. Let's tackle this problem. Don't do it. You can make it through the three months. You know, you'll be fine. And I promise you the average Joe probably won't even think about it. Uh, for the females, I can't really speak to that, but same goes for you. Just, you know, God, if you've got to be discreet, I mean, please just don't do it. Just don't do it. All right. So guys, if this video helped you out, if you enjoyed it, uh, please like and subscribe. I want to hear your comments below. Sound off. I know this is going to be a ridiculous chat below, so let's do it. Uh, you can follow me at Clayton Fopo on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, if you want to catch any of my live streams, it's typically around 9, between 9 and 10 o'clock Eastern time on the weekdays and intermittently throughout the weekend. So follow my Twitter and I will let you know when I live stream next, okay? All right, fellas, we will see you next time.